that I'd like people to acknowledge our language. And of course, to share vulgar ASL. Today at 2 on CBS2. Who's to blame for this house of chaos? Next, Dr. Phil. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 5. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 22nd. Monday is behind us. Yay. Feels good. <laughs> Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Suzanne Marquez. And I'm Rachel Kim in for DeMarco Morgan. There's a lot going on in your world today. Here's your SoCal eye opener. A seriously close call. See just how close cars came to crashing into a fat burger overnight. Gushing water again. A water main break creates a huge mess this morning, this time in the Westlake District. The magnitude of Russia's cyber capacity is fairly consequential. And a new warning from the White House. The latest concerns as Russia grows frustrated over its lack of advancement in its war in Ukraine. Don't push it. Don't say, I know my car when it's on E. I have five more miles. Mm, running on E. The CHP has a warning for drivers feeling the pain at the pump as we hit a new record high this morning. All right. Well, speaking of high, our temperatures are going to be high. There's a yeah. transi transition for you, Mark. Yes. I hear it's going to be warm. Everything's up. It's going to be wa <laughs> warm. Some might say hot. Yeah. Yes, Caliente. Hot. Yeah, because we're, we're looking at temperatures that are going to easily be in the 80s and some <laughs> 90s out there, even as we get into tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Are you ready for the heat? It is definitely on the way. Satellite radar composite showing clear skies, so that lets you know that we have dry air in place. That is for sure. In terms of what we are seeing temperature-wise, not bad at LAX. Mainly clear, 56 degrees. Winds are out of the east at 7, but we have wind advisories that will talk about later on. What you need to know is this, as we go throughout the course of the morning. It is going to be dry, sunny and heat up nicely throughout the day. Look at that 2 o'clock, 83 degrees. How hot will it get today? I'll let you know coming up in just a little bit. Back to you. Thanks, Martina. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Let's go to your time saver traffic this Tuesday morning and look at the drive times. The 15 freeway between the 91 and the 10 is 11 minutes in both directions. The 215 between the 210 and 6091 interchange is 11 minutes both ways as well. Let's go live outside to the city of industry. You can see that traffic is pretty slow on the northbound 605 at Valley Boulevard. And check this out. Two cars crashed inches away from the doors of a fat burger in West Hollywood this morning. But you can see all of the damage done to the restaurant's patio. <clears throat> Deputies say the two cars collided in the intersection on Santa Monica Boulevard and Gardner Street and spun out and crashed. The drivers suffered minor injuries. An early wake up call this morning in the Inland Empire. A 3.4 magnitude quake hit just east of Ontario around 3.30. There are no reports of any damage or injuries, but I'm sure a lot of people felt it. Oh, sure. <laughs> Woke you up. Well, the stage is set for LAUSD students and staff to take off the masks. The teachers union voted overwhelmingly in favor of the change last night. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Exposition Park with more on the next steps. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. Students and staff coming here to Clinton Middle School will have to wear their masks today, but starting tomorrow, they will be optional, and that'll be the case at all LA schools. Take a look. As you were saying yesterday, the uh, UTLA, the teachers union, approved its agreement to modify the health protocols for LAUSD schools. Masks are still strongly recommended indoors, but they will no longer be mandatory. LAUSD was one of the last districts in the state to lift their masking rules. Now that the number of COVID cases are falling, 84% of the teachers were in favor of this new agreement, which does still require students and staff in early education centers to stay masked. That is because children under the age of five are still not eligible for vaccinations. And the district has also agreed to continue their weekly COVID testing through the end of the school year. Now, as we come back out here live, you can see this is one of the school sites that is still going to be offering both vaccinations and free testing through the end of the school year. The teachers union says it is important to keep those kinds of measures in place as we continue to figure out how to move from this pandemic stage to the endemic stage. The LAUSD school board is expected to formally approve this agreement later on at their meeting today. And then, as we said, the change is going into effect tomorrow.